Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. If you're new to my channel, please consider. I'm sure most of you have already heard Miss Booty Beauty Chantal Marie, the Canadian bacon has been terminated. I got up at three o'clock this morning. I could not go back to bed. I hopped on the YouTube and four of my reaction channels that I love and watch were doing live streams about this. I couldn't believe it. We were all shocked. I I have mixed emotions about it. Uh, I mean, I don't even know where to begin. I will say though that I have a funny feeling that this isn't the end of her on YouTube. She has um, the option to appeal this. Now, I do know that she's like the world's laziest human being, but she might she might do it and she's one of those people that will actually get away with some shit um I don't know I just have a feeling she'll be back but we'll see only time will tell so a lot of different people I mean I I've been up since three o'clock I'm freaking tired I was reading so many comments everybody had different opinions about what she might do next or why it was that she was terminated um so many people were checking her social media couldn't find her I would pay good money to be a fly on the wall when she finds out. I would also pay good money to be a fly on the wall to see what Natter and Dee Dee say. Out of just pure curiosity, I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm so super curious. Um, I honestly, I don't know what this woman is gonna do. I mean, I reacted to her rage yesterday, or like her really weird behavior. She was clearly on something that wasn't just edibles, in my opinion. She was acting very funny. Um, all I kept thinking, you know, as I'm reading these comments is, she stated yesterday in her earlier stream that she was already out of money. Now she just got paid from YouTube and she was already, she was already spending the money for her neck from her next YouTube check. I I just it's baffling to me how somebody her age is still living paycheck to paycheck. Now, I know it's been rumored that she makes $20,000 a month. I don't necessarily believe that. I think that she has on some months maybe made that much. Her beezers are goofy. I do think she has maybe once in a while made that much. Do I think that she regularly makes that? I don't think so. But as soon as it gets in her hot little hand, she's just buying the most ridiculous bullshit out there. It's ridiculous. Um, but she did make a comment, like I said in her earlier stream yesterday, that she was already out of money. I mean, she was opening box on top of box on top of box, buying just the most ridiculous shit. And me as a person who is a, is a saver, I love to save money. I don't know if it's just because, you know, my mom raised my brother and my sister and I this way and you know she taught us to plan for the future and I know two weeks ago one of her beezers had asked her what would you do and they weren't being me but they asked her what would you do if YouTube was no more and she kind of giggled about it she's like I don't know I don't have any savings I don't have anything for my retirement and it just fucking blew my mind it blew my mind because I think it was like my early 20s where, I, and I was making significantly less money than she is now, where I already began the path of like learning to save money and things and, you know, think about the future, things like that. And then it was like my, my late 30s where, you know, I started to get really worried about retirement and and making sure that I, I was putting away for retirement and things like that. And I just, I'm not a person that enjoys spending money for absolutely no fucking reason. And it fucking irritates me when I see people like Amber or Chantel just pissing it away because now look at her. I mean, I know she's got her taxes coming up. I know that that piece of shit Kia she's driving, it's on its like last legs. Pete's has no job. I would love, I would love if Pete's Actually, his channel blew up, which in fact, since this happened a couple of hours ago, he has gotten significantly more subscribers. People want to see what his reaction is going to be, obviously. So I would love to see Pete treat her like the fucking servant. So 
You know, she was raging the other day and talking about, you know, Charlie Gold and that, what would she do if something happened to, to Chantel? You know, Chantel's the one that pays Charlie Gold's, you know, bills or whatever. And, uh, you know, I haven't watched Charlie Gold in years. I, I, I've mentioned this before. I used to watch Charlie Gold when she was a really small channel. And then once she got a little bit bigger, she kind of got really hateful and not, dare I say, slightly hypocritical. So I don't know, that's just not my cup of tea. Um, she was just really targeting Chantel about her weight and things like that, where, I mean, I'm a big gal, I don't, the, the thing that bugs me about Chantel and Amber Lynn Reed, it has nothing to do with their weight, they're both assholes, but um, I don't know, so I stopped watching her, so I'm not really sure who Charlie Gold covers at this point. Is it just Chantel that she covers? But I will say this, even if it was just Chantel that she covered, I looked up not long ago how many uh, content creators there are on YouTube, and this was back in 2021. There is over 37 million YouTube creators throughout the world. And if only 1% of that number are train wrecks, there will always, always be people to react to. Now, my main focus personally is Chantel, Thousand Pound Sisters, Amberlynn Reed, but I watch many other train wrecks out there and it's not like it, they're not out there to react to. Uh, also, at least in my experience, the reactors that I watch and the compilation channels I watch have real jobs. This is not their you know, only form of income. And a lot of the reaction channels I watch don't even get monetized. So, I mean, I don't get monetized. I'm a teeny tiny little channel. Um, so they have like real jobs to fall back on. So the smugness and cockiness of her thinking like if Chantel was to fall off the face of the earth, like, oh my God, what would we do? Believe me, there's more shit shows out there just like you. So don't worry, girl. Um, I will say this though. Also, I was thinking about this too as I was reading those comments this morning. You know, back in the day when I used to first start watching Chantel, and I'm talking about, I don't know, I, I don't even think she was up to 10,000 subscribers yet. And I, didn't, I don't think anywhere near that yet. But she was, you know, with BB in her tiny little kitchen, doing her cozy little streams, her mukbangs, water stories. And I've mentioned this before, and she wasn't even getting monetized back then yet. And I remember her being a shopaholic back then and complaining about her credit card debt. So I don't know what the hell she's gonna do now. I don't know. I know she's got the OnlyFans, but it's my understanding with the OnlyFans there are a lot of things you can't do on OnlyFans. And there's a lot of other um, outlets that she can, you know, go to, Twitch, um, she could stream on Instagram. There's a lot of other ones, but I just don't see Chantel putting in the work to do that. She's comfortable with YouTube. She's been doing it for so long and she's gotten away with so much shit. I don't know if she knows how to censor herself. She's so freaking socially awkward that any dumb thing that comes to her mind, she just blurts out. Oh, people want me to take my shirt off and wiggle my lard? Oh, sure, okay. You know, it, it's just, she's she's not, um, there's some sort of arrested development going on with that girl, and I don't know how she's gonna bounce back from this. I don't want anything bad to happen to the girl, but I'll tell you this, I am very glad that I never have to hear Ready, Set, Bees again and see her arm, her arm fat slapping. That I, I never wanna see again. Um, the screechy, Pete's, Pete's. So glad I don't have to hear that shit again. Her cat talk to her babies. Oh, that shit was irritating. But you know, you never know. She might, she might make a comeback. It, you know, people like her who seem to like skate through life, just always getting their way, seem to always bounce back. I feel like she never has consequences to her actions. I am actually really glad that I did not stay on that um, that Omegle live stream that she was doing. Like I said, she is socially awkward and it was already, she's cringy on her live streams alone. So once she started doing the, the Omegle thing, I was like, I'm out of here. This is like a cringe level, like times 10. I'm not there for that. So, and plus she has so many live streams. It's like, Jesus Christ, like 
I'm sure in like 10 minutes she'll put up another one. So, anyways, I'm still slightly shocked. I still have slight, you know, mixed emotions about this whole thing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm probably gonna miss reacting to her, but who knows? She might be back. Only time will tell. We'll have to see. Everyone is live streaming right now talking about this and, and has different opinions about it. But anyways, until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.